Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on fractions. In this video, we will be expressing one quantity as a fraction of another. So we start with the first problem. 1. Express A25 as a fraction of 35. B. 4 days as a fraction of 6 days. C. 25 centimeters as a fraction of 2 meters. D. 40 minutes as a fraction of 2 hours. So we start the solution from A. Um, when we say a fraction of a number, it means the number is going to form the denominator of the resulting fraction. So as a fraction of 35, we can have 8 over 35, 7 over 35, 9 over 35, 11 over 35, and so on. Therefore, this 35 is going to form the denominator of the fraction to be formed so that we now have 34 as the denominator while this 25 will form the numerator. We then simplify to the simplest form or lowest term. 5 divides both 25 and 35 and that's going to give us 5 over 7. Since 25 divided by 5 gives 5 and 35 divided by 5 gives 7. So that's all for A part of the problem. We go to B. For B, we are to express 4 days as a fraction of 6 days. Which means 6 days will be the denominator while the numerator will be 4. And then simplifying, 2 divides both 4 and 6. And that will give us 2 over 3. So that's all for B. We then go for C. And for C, 25 centimeters as a fraction of 2 meters. So 2 meters will be the denominator, while the 25 centimeters will be the numerator. And here we cannot simplify further, except we convert them to the same units. The numerator is in centimeters, while the denominator is in meters. Therefore, we convert to the smaller unit. This is the bigger unit. This is the smaller unit. So we convert the meters to centimeters. 100 centimeters make 1 meter. Since we have 2 meters here, it is going to be 200 centimeters. So that we now have the fraction now as 25 over 200. Simplifying this, 25 divides both 25 and uh, 200. And that's going to give us 1 over 8. So 25 goes into 25 gives 1. 25 goes into 200 gives 8. So that's it for C. We then go for D. For D, we have um, 40 minutes as a fraction of 2 hours. So 2 hours is going to form the denominator while the 40 minutes will form the numerator. Since they are not in the same unit again, we are going to convert these hours to minutes. So converting two hours to minutes, 60 minutes make one hour. Therefore, two hours is going to be 60 times two, giving us 120. So that the fraction becomes 40 over 120. So zero, we go with zero. 4 over 12, 4 will divide 4 to give us a 1, and the 4 will divide 12 to give us 3. So the resulting fraction is 1 over 3 in the simplest form. And that's all for the solution of problem 1. We then go to problem 2. For problem 2, what fraction of a 2 weeks is 6 days? 10 liters is 25 centiliters. 3 kilometers is 40 meters and what fraction of 4.5 kilograms is 250 grams. So we start the solution of the problem from A. Uh, we are looking for fraction of 2 weeks. What fraction of 2 weeks? So again, 2 weeks is going to form the denominator while the 6 days will form the numerator. We then convert these two weeks to days. Seven days make one week, and um, 
two weeks will be 14 days that's seven times two so that the fraction becomes six over 14 and two divides both six and 14 to give us three over seven and that's all for a that is the fraction of two weeks that is six days is three over seven so we then go to b for b fraction of 10 liters and that is 25 centiliters so the fraction here will have the denominator as 10 liters while the 25 centiliters will form the numerator so 100 centiliters make one liter now that we have 10 liters is going to be 1000 centiliters so the fraction now becomes 25 over 1000 in the simplest form we are going to divide both numerator and denominator by 25 and that's going to give us 1 over 40 remember 25 goes into 25 gives 1 25 divides 100 to give 4 then we add the other 0 to give us 1 over 40 as a fraction in problem 2b so we go to see what fraction of 3 kilometers is 450 meters 3 kilometers will form the denominator and the numerator will be 450 meters we are going to convert the 3 kilometers to meters 1000 meters make 1 kilometer so 1 kilometer is 1000 2 kilometers will be 2000 and 3 kilometers will be 3000 so we now have the fraction now as 450 over 3000 they have now both in meters we then simplify simplifying this we are going to have 3 over 20 if this 0 goes with this 0 we now have 45 over 300 45 over 300 15 goes into both of them 15 goes into 45 gives 3, 15 goes into 300 gives 20. And that's all for C, we then go to D. For D, what fraction of 4.5 kilograms is 250 grams? And the 4.5 will form the denominator, while the numerator will be 250 grams. We then convert this 4.5 kilograms to grams by multiplying by 1000 because 1000 grams make one kilogram so the fraction now will be 250 grams over 4500 grams after multiplying 4.5 by 1000 we have 4500 so that from here now we simplify and the, the simplified fraction will be 1 over 18. Um, this 0 goes with this 0, 25 here, 1, 25 dividing 450 gives 18. So that's all for the solution of problem 2. And this is the highest we can take in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in our next video. Goodbye.